all remember the wonderful 24.4 update. We got new colors, zooming in and out and tons of newly introduced bugs. So in the end, I rolled back to 24.3 because that was the most stable version of Premiere. But now, guess what? 24.5 just got released and I tested it out. That doesn't sound good. Just think twice before clicking this button. Alright, first we're gonna look at what's new and then we're gonna check if they actually fixed the bugs from last version. Spoiler alert, no. Alright, so with the new update you can add custom watermarks to proxy files. When you right click a file and then choose create proxy, you can now add an icon to that proxy so that when you toggle the proxies on, you will see your preferred icon. Okay, that's cool I guess. By the way, for those who don't know, proxies are basically a copy of your video in a codec that's much easier to read for Premiere. This makes playback so much faster and it can really improve your editing experience. However, I'm not quite sure why you should add a proxy icon to your video because why? Also, when you export your video, Premiere will never use the proxies unless you choose to. So yeah, weird. Next up, you will get three times faster ProRes export speeds. That's all I have to say about it. Cool. Then, the enhanced speech feature. It should work even better than before. Look, it does work well when you're trying to recover old recordings from the 90s or even older. It clears things up. Yeah. But please don't tell me that it will make your recording sound like it's recorded in a professional studio. It kinda sounds like a robot replaced your voice and it doesn't really sound like you anymore. Next, remember when Premiere used to crash when you're trying to use the remix tool to extend your song. Yeah, they fixed that, so that's cool. Speaking of music, it's so hard to find music that doesn't sound stockish. I mean, stock songs are great, but not if they sound like they belong in an elevator. This is a huge problem for us creators. Luckily, I found a solution, which is audio. They have an incredible music library with songs created by producers who actually make music purely for creators. This way, the music will never sound generic and boring. It is super easy to find the exact song you need and you can download the track outs of every song which is so amazing. They also have a tool called Link Match which I have open on my computer by default. You can literally drop a link of a famous song from YouTube or whatever and then you'll get a list with thousands of similar songs that you can use copyright free. The music library from audio is just Perfect. Now, besides music, you'll also get access to a huge library of sound effects, which is crucial for every editor and content creator. Now, Audio actually gave me a code, which is Premiere Basics, and it will allow you to get 70% off the Audio Pro plan. Take advantage of this deal right now by clicking the link down below. Now, let's get back to Premiere. So, in 24.4, they introduced a timeline bug, which prevented you from scrolling normally and this made the software completely unusable. This is not fixed in 24.5, which is the exact reason I'm switching to Resolve. I mean, rolling back to 24.3. So, you know, in older Premiere versions, when you hit Control plus scroll wheel, you can zoom in on the location where your cursor is. Now it just zooms in randomly, which means you need to use the stupid slider to locate something. This is giving me a, a terrible editing experience. Adobe, please fix this because I just can't update if I can't zoom in normally on my timeline. And I tested this on different computers, I tested this on a Mac, it's the same everywhere. The next feature is really cool, you can now zoom in and out using your scroll wheel. But there is a huge issue with that. Back in the old Premiere, you could use your scroll wheel when masking to move frames further or back in time. Yeah, that doesn't work anymore. You need to go back to the effect controls, click and then use your arrow keys to navigate in your timeline and then you can go back and adjust your mask. I understand that you can't have both but maybe allow us to I don't know use control plus scroll to zoom or, or something like that. Boom problem solved. Yeah I'm actually disappointed we're paying a monthly expensive subscription. I understand that Adobe wants to focus on AI. It's really important as a company to keep up with this stuff. Whether you like it or not AI is the future. However it would be awesome if they fix the biggest issues first so that we can actually actually focus on editing our videos instead of trying to find workarounds for bugs. Let me tell you something, this Wednesday I was working on the previous Premiere Basics video. Well, I was finally done and decided to export it. Yeah, no matter what I tried, it just kept crashing. I had to copy my entire timeline into another project. I also tried copy and pasting it to another sequence, but that didn't work. Adobe, I love you and I love Premiere, but please fix this. I really love using Premiere and it's 
painful to see it going downhill. Oh, and guys, please leave behind as many bugs as you know, because I know for a fact that Adobe will see this video, and let's just hope they fix this. Thank you guys so much for watching.